All right, guys, this is Bruce, and I want to show you guys how I store my Funkoverse pieces. I store them in these two container bins. So the first one is this, which has all the Funko Pop figures and little pieces, which I'll open up in a second. And the other is everything else <laughs> fits in this tub. And the reason I chose this one is because of the locking handles. I got this at, I don't know, Target or something like that, but that way it doesn't fall over and it's got room for more stuff. So let's start with this. Basically, the only thing I keep in here are rule, a couple rule packs, all the scenario cards, a couple cooldown tracks, and all the maps. That's what I keep in here. So there's room for more stuff. And it's got the locking lid. This I bought online. I'll put the, uh, I think I bought it on Amazon, and I'll put the link in the, whatever, in the description below where you can get this. At least at this time, it might be sold out or you get another copy um, or another version of it. This has four layers. Some have three or five or whatever. I think I combined a couple sets to make these. Basically, there's are stacking trays. And what I like about these, they're, they're loud when you unsnap them. But what I like is lid comes off. And I'll just undo all of them. Is you can store all your Funko figures in there. Most of them fit in a little tray like this. Um, you know, here I've got a bunch of them there. And there's a couple big ones that don't fit in there, but they have these things that remove. So I've got the shark and this little one and, and these couple here that take up extra bins, but most of them fit in there. And, and the ones that don't, you can take out the dividers. Here's where I keep all the cards because when you're, you need these handy because these are all the players. When you're choosing your sets, sometimes the way you choose them is based on the color of their powers. And so you need to be able to have these accessible. First, I had these in a different place, but here's where I keep all these. These are the generic ones, the generic uh, little characters. And this is the box that I keep on the bottom for all the to tokens. I found that I just keep enough dice for, say... <laughs> I mean, three games. Imagine if I had three games going at once uh, at a tournament tournament style. That's it. I don't need any more. A bunch of tokens here, standees, and the rest of the tokens there. Again, I don't keep all the jewels in there, just most of them. I kept these separate because these are the Jurassic Park ones, and they have the little, I don't know if you can see it, the little uh, mosquitoes in there. It's kind of cool. Anyway, here's where I keep all the items. So in here got, I don't know how many items, but all the item cards are there. So we can just quickly lay these out and choose them. And then the last bin is for what I call pieces that are unique to that character. So once you choose your character, there's status cards that go with that character. And then there's sometimes special tokens or, or die or different tokens that go with that character. Those are all kept in another bin. So basically that's it. The whole thing stacks together in one neat little thing. Here, I'll put it all back together. They just snap on. This is just such a easier way to carry everything. The lid works like this and there's room to grow. Uh, let me put this lid on there. Um, as you can see, this holds four trays, but I think the way it came was three, like this. This is how I got it. I bought it with three, and I just put one more set, and I just I grabbed it. So I've got room to grow. So I, as I get more pieces, I can add to it or create two different sets. I love this little system. So there's my, uh, I wanted to share with you guys my Funkoverse uh, storage system. That's it. Play more games, guys.